Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Tuesday, second day of August, 27th day of Tammuz. Here we go. Another couple of laws that I want to discuss with you that have to do with the uh, interesting situation that the 9th of Av will turn out to be on Shabbos this year, and immediately after Shabbos we'll be observing the fast and all the the tish above um, things that we do. So here's where it's going to make for some interesting uh, issues. You know, usually right when tish above starts, we switch into tish above shoes that aren't made out of leather. And the tricky little situation will be that on this year, uh, you can't put them on too early, you can't put them on too late. I'll tell you what I mean. You don't want to be putting on those Tisha B'Av shoes while it's still Shabbos. That's a sign of mourning, and we don't show signs of mourning on Shabbos. You don't want to put them on too late, because as soon as Tisha B'Av arrives, you want to be in your Tisha B'Av shoes. So the actual perfect thing to do, if you can manage to do it, is to say Baruchu, that begins your... Well, this I'm saying for a person who's davening Marav in Shul right as Shabbos ends, okay? So Shabbos ended, you were in your regular shoes for Shabbos, and then you said Baruch which begins Marav, which is kind of a statement now officially that it's nighttime. And then you could, with your feet, just kick off your regular shoes and step into your Tisha B'Av shoes. That would be kind of perfect at that moment without getting your hands dirty. You're not supposed to touch your shoes while you're in the middle of davening. So that's the best. You say Baruch and you kick off your regular shoes, and you step into your Tish above shoes. The Chazan, who maybe won't have the option and availability of doing that, well, he can do that right before he says Baruch but he should make some kind of statement that Shabbos is over for him. He just quietly says the words, Baruch HaMavdil Ben Kodesh Lachal, Blessed is God who separates between the holy and the mundane. That's his kind of way of stating Shabbos is over. And then he can jump into his shoes, again, make sure that his hands didn't get dirty, and say Baruchu for the whole congregation. You have to make sure that you're doing this after it's nightfall, because uh, you're not supposed to be doing all these activities and saying, oh, Shabbos is over if Shabbos isn't over. So make sure it's after nightfall. Uh, that's, you know, that's the time that's written on your calendars in your city for when Shabbos is over. That's when you're available to say Baruch HaMav Dulein Kodesh Lachol. For those of you going to good NCSY programs that aren't immediately after Shabbos, do remember to say Baruch HaMav Dulein Kodesh Lachol before jumping in your car. Uh, you have to say that before you start doing Malacha, but any work, and then jump in your car and drive to whatever it is that you're going to for your Tisha B'Av night program. Um... Now, sometimes you're in a shul or a camp situation where everybody's switching their shoes right after Baruch is going to make for a giant commotion, and it's going to really make the beginning of Marav look weird. So Rav Moshe Feinstein Zatzal had told people that in that kind of situation, you could have everybody say Baruch HaMavdu and Kodesh Lachal and switch into their shoes before Baruch and that would be fine also. Just make sure to do that after Shabbos. If you did touch your shoes and your hands need washing and you can't everybody get to the sink, you could, if you're, if necessary, you could rub your hands against stuff like wood or something to make your hands be officially cleaned. Um, now, the one other thing that you have to consider is when are you bringing those shoes to shul. You shouldn't be carrying there on them there on Shabbos afternoon because that would be preparing on Shabbos for after Shabbos. So if you are davening in shul right after Shabbos, it'd be a great idea to try to remember to have your Tisha B'Av shoes in shul Friday afternoon before Shabbos starts so they're ready for you to jump right into um, right after Shabbos begins. For those of you who have a delay and like Shabbos ends 9 o'clock and your program begins 9.30, a lot of this becomes much simpler because then you can take care of all that during that free half hour. Just remember to plan all this out because your shoes for Tisha B'Av should not go on during Shabbos <coughs> and your preparation for post Tisha B'Av should not be going on on Shabbos either, but your Tisha B'Av shoes should be on as soon as Tisha B'Av begins. So please have that all in mind and try to Work it out. Ask your rabbi. Make a good plan. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.